going for the thing. What are you? You're all white. Not that I need any of them anymore. I've got loads. See what I mean? You don't get many Pokemon out here in the cold. Uh, you. We took a pan off you last time. We have actually got a psychic Pokemon. Oh, yellow. We have actually got a psychic Pokemon now, but... Yeah, look. Walking through the snow, not a Pokemon in sight. They are here. I can tell by the fact that, um... Mareep! You're a fattery, you're a Mareep. Neither of which we've got. What else we've got over here? More Poke Chickens. Not worried about them. Right. What's that? And you seem to like the snow. We don't use in a couple of you floating around. You do like... You're a very lively you. I'm not sure if you're worth having though, so... Pretty cool looking, but yeah, look. Oh, that's that, no, that's different. That one. What are you? What? <laughs> you're a disappearing. Oh, you got one of them psychic ones, didn't you? You're an Avra. Well, we've already got a Cadavra, I think. So you are the smaller version. And the ice and snow Poke Center. This this man's got Poke Centers coming out of zero holes. Last time I couldn't find one for love nor money. It's just the front or the back of it? It's the front of it. Oh, this one's got the lights on and everything. We're doing alright here. Right. Well, Ever? Are you following me, Ever? You want some? I don't mind. I'll fight you. Bring him in there. Yeah, I'll do. Hello and welcome back. Right, we're back at home again after a little trapes around. I came back, did a bit of a farming bits and pieces. It's a piss poor miserable day out there. It's raining as hell, but I've done a bit more research. And I uh, put together a nice little list of Pokemon strengths and weaknesses. And where's the other thing I found out? Here we go. Right, so I now know that there are three balls that have used to me. Uh, the Dusk Ball, which is good at night and in caves. The Ultra Ball, which we knew anyway. And it appears the Net Ball, which um, strong on water and bug type Pokemon. And as they're the two sort of things we're looking for at the moment, they sound good. Also, the Quick Ball sounds useful. I think it's called the Fast Ball in this. I'm hoping it is anyway. Because uh, we use that to start the fight. It's um, good for catching Pokemon. Right, what I thought we'd do is have a little wander underground. Now, I've got that good cave marked up, haven't I? So, I'll just check that. M, where are we? Waypoints. Uh, good cave. It's a great cave system. I think good cave. That's where we found uh, some bits and pieces that I, I like the look of. So, we're going to go there. Uh, have a little look in our cave. See if we can pick up a few resources while we're at it. And uh, have a little train up against some of these ground and rock type Pokemon. Which are lurking there with my nice water Pokemon that will be absolutely drenched by the time we get there. Okay, now, good cave. You, I take it, or oh, that one over there. Yep, yeah, good cave. 600 and something away. So we've got a bit of a stroll. Uh, maybe I should have planted these trees so close to the house because they're a pain in the ass. There we go, right. Good cave. Excuse me, Diglett. Damp Diglett. Yeah, 215, I think it was, in here. That's, I might be slightly out with that, I'm pretty certain I'm not though. I've got one of you, don't need you, Cubone. Uh, I, wasn't, I was thinking about these, I didn't think they evolved looking at the site, but I think they do actually, you can go to the next level. But I think it eventually turns into a flying thing. I haven't got some flying one so far. I also thought that was a Poke Center, but it's not. It's just a standard one, a thing. Which I must admit, I haven't had a look in. Should we have a look in it? Let's see if I can do it without. Sounds true. Being a pain. Let's see if I can do it without setting off the. Uh... There we go. I don't think you want to set off the, the nastiness that goes on down there. Yeah, odds are it's a bit dark, because we are on YouTube, so I'll just brighten up a little bit. Oh, I went. Yeah, I've 
been had by these before. Usually because of rock falls on it. Alright, let's have a look. Gotcha. Now, no matter what you do. Right, what's in here? Oh, hang on. Bit of gold, always useful. Bit of bone meal. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll put a torch up because it's probably a bit too dark for YouTube. How about that? Bit more bone meal. Some emeralds. Don't think I need the uh, rotten flesh. More gold. More bones. Oh. And last but not least, some iron horse armor. We've got lots of horses around here. I haven't thought about training. I'm not even sure how you train a horse. I think it's apples if I'm right. Might be wrong. And some iron. Always useful. Well, well that was a bit of a non event, really. Whoa! Sandshrew. I haven't got you yet, Sandshrew, but I will. Right. Good cave. I like this dynamic lighting, it's quite handy, isn't it? Uh, trappage. Oh, okay. Um, you're one I think I want anyway, aren't you? So, let's give you a water gun. Which I think is really good on you. Excellent. Brilliant. Uh, it's super effective, I know it is. Sound attack on thingy is accuracy decreased. Right, um... Now, you're 23, you should be able to handle... A, mm. We'll give you... You should be able to handle the tackle. Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh well, never mind. Never mind. Um, where was we heading for? Good cave, over here. All, right, all the Pokemon, nearly all... Magic Arps, so we can do a Magic Arp at any time, I'm not too worried about Magic Arp, we've got a gold dean already, so... If we find something interesting to do with a water, I'd be tempted to grab it, but... We've still got one slot left on us. I deliberately left one free. And... Uh, hello, Mankey! No, I didn't think I was going to get up there, so I was looking for a way. Uh, good guy, go on. Because I had that Chocodile, is it, over here? Well, when I was last here, I mean, okay, probably respawn. Despawn by now, long ago, but if I do know it spawns over here, because as much as they despawn, I have interesting tree. Hmm. What are you? Why have you got such interesting wood? Or interesting stuff. Oak wood. Okay. Weird. No, don't do that. Right, uh, so I'm very easily distracted. Come on, through this filthy muck. Oh, jungle, I hate jungle. Why do I come over here? It's jungle. Uh, well, are we near it yet? No, we're still miles away. I did find some good stuff around this area. But I didn't have any balls on me when I came here, so I thought we'd come back with some balls. Come on, stop mucking me about. beaten path here, aren't we? Uh, do I want to go around there? Let's go this way and up. What are they? Black horses? Yeah, I want to try and get a horse at some point. Grey horses, more pokey sheep. Not here much in the way of uh, Pokemon, but then again it is pissing down rain. Um, keep going that way, looks like a bloody great mountain in my way, I hope we're not. Ooh. Another cave, but well, I'm heading for the one I want. Hmm, bit of a problem that, isn't it? Okay. I'm not defeated that easily. I'm getting little lag spikes again. Probably because it's doing all this and recording and raining. Which is never a good thing. Um, come up we go, up we go. Um, that should be the hard way, is it? Okay. That's what you insist. Sandstone. 
Do I need sandstone for any reason? Smooth sandstone. Um, I don't need sandstone for the moment. It's not as if I'm doing much in the way of a uh, thorn craft where sandstone is particularly useful to me. Chisel sandstone is very good for magic. Come on. Oh, come on. Right. We're up there. Reckons. I hear you, Reckons. <laughs> so I knew the advice were honest. I wasn't just extremely lucky. We may have looked that way, but. Phew. Yep, that was, wasn't quite so lucky. Uh, up this way, come on. Up, 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 up. Ah, oh, tropes in food jungle, this is so exciting. Right, now. I'm roughly in the place I want to be, aren't I? Let's go down there. Uh, oh, no! Oh, well, never mind. Right, here we go, good cave. No, I'll kill myself getting here, but. Ah, right. Uh, I know, uh, up the top is where I saw all the stuff, but we'll have a look at the other way out. So, we're looking for rock type Pokemon. I'm also looking for fossils. I should have bought a shovel, shouldn't I? That would have made life a lot easier, wouldn't it? Uh, uh. No you. Come on. No, let's have a look at some more iron while we're down here. And coal. Did I bring many? Uh, I bought another stone pickaxe. So I love this one. That's good enough, I suppose. I think I remember it looked huge just through here. Yeah, looks like I'm going up needing. I don't know. I might actually fast forward through some of this, but uh, I'll just come back for the fights. Find. There's got to be some underground Pokemon here somewhere, and if we're going to find rock, and well, we can't find them in deserts, but oh, see, but well, well, perfect. Okay, we're going downwards. Hopefully, this will get us low enough. Maybe not. Right, that looks like it still goes quite a long way. subject. Oh, perfect. Look at this. This is definitely what we've been looking for. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. grab some wood. That way, uh, if I need to make more pickaxes and stuff, it shouldn't be a problem. And we'll take you apart and all. Looks like I can make chests and stuff. All this spider web, what we got down here, anything? Not a lot. I did come down certain bits of this beforehand, but I can't remember if I came down to this part or not. Or if I did, I must have come down a different way because I didn't have to dig my way down. But this is huge around here. Now, gravel. This is something we definitely want to have a look at. I'm not seeing anything up there. But when they spawn in the fossils, they spawn in with gravel around them. So, see things like that, I mean that's just seriously suspicious isn't it really? Uh, what am I doing? Not seeing anything, that's, that is seriously suspicious. In case you've not come across this before, one of the easiest ways of dealing with gravel is literally 
just take it out of a torch and pop another torch underneath and when the stuff drops the torch destroys it it does save an awful lot of digging I mean this not so much because there's only one thing dropping but see that's one at the top so but I do know they automatically spawn with gravel at random so when the world spawns in quite a few cases the gravel drops thereby exposing the fossil but it doesn't look like it's exposed by in here it looks a bit like a sort of stain in the ground I found one in the other game but I haven't found one in this game yet I don't know whereabouts that appear top or bottom or whatever but uh, I'll do this one at normal speeds and what I might do at some point is, uh, I say, high speed it a bit. Otherwise, we could be here all month. Month? Try month. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Grammar's gone to crap. Is there a fossil here? Hello? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Hello? So unless you're watching the videos I'll, I've been watching, you wouldn't get that joke. It's trash can. Hello. <laughs> um, no, I think we've lucked out on this bit because I've just taken nearly all this gravel out. I've not seen any sign of anything at all fossil-like. We have got a hell of a lot of gravel. Oh well. Okay, we wander on. Uh, geodudes we're looking for, and... On, oh! <laughs> you ain't gonna do much, mate, unfortunately, because you've been disabled. Because... You want pointless exercise? I'm not actually hitting that thing, aren't I? Go away. Right, now, you go away. Your pointless exercise. Let's see what else we've got down here. Maybe we've got a chest down here. Try to add you useful to us. That was clever, wasn't it? Should have bought a better thing. Right, okay. I'm going to whiz around here and grab a few bits and pieces and do a little bit of mining and stuff like that. And uh, when, I come, when I find a fight, I will be back. Okay, I've come back out of the caves because, okay, I'm collecting mitfuls of resources, don't get me wrong, but there's not a single Pokemon down there. Not a one. Not a Graveler, a Geo Dude, or anything, anything. No rock Pokemon at all. And that's probably the main reason of going down here was the training. Uh, I decided to come back up. On the way back up, or just as I come to the top, I happen to notice him, a Golduck. Now, hmm, 140, but is he worth having? Now, Psyduck's useless. I told you it's a good, good Pokemon right here. But a gold duck. Is he worth getting? He's trapped in this corner immediately. Get him! No, how can you miss him at there? That'd be ridiculous. Gold duck, don't be silly. Just get caught, would you? Why can I not get him? Maybe you've got him on the head. Okay, let's have a little look around here. Can I get up there? Right, gold duck, I want to see red. There we go. Right, there you are. There you are. Stay still. Come on, this is... Hey. Golduck, you're being a pain. No, don't even... Let's go. Ah, Golduck, we got him. He's level 48, which means he's quite tough. He's a water Pokemon, which means we've got a real problem. Um, Pokemon, what can we send against him? Uh, I suppose we can try Mankey to start with. See if Mankey can do much to him. Right, fight. Let's go for a low kick. He's quite big. Not what Mankey. We did a little bit. It's knocking him down. It's knocking him down. Let's try. Um, let's try a few swipes. Oh. Critical hit. Gold duck, that was super effective. Oh, damn. Venonat. Let's try poison him. Yeah, I know. Fight. Poison powder. 
Oops, uh, copied Vernet's stat changes. Did he? Oh. Vernet tried to use poison powder, but missed. Mm -hmm. Fight, um, how about this confusing him a bit, can we? I want to confuse him. Uh, what was what, Vernet? Vernet tried to use it, but missed. This is not good, is it? Fight, Let's, he's been a bit evasive. Let's try a foresight, just to see if it helps. Right, fight, now your poison powder. Oh dear. Hmm, that's water, that's water, that's water. Okay, Goldine, let's see what we can do with him. Fight. Again, supersonic. Let's try and confuse him. Golduck used confusion on, uh, on Goldine. Goldine used supersonic on Golduck. Golduck has become confused. Good. Right, fight. Now we'll um, water pulse him. Won't do much, but. Oh, Jesus. Wasn't very effective. Fight, okay, we'll just use a flail. Bosh, yeah, well, I pretty much knew that was going to happen. Polywag, I'm going to take it down a bit more. Fight, um, try a body slam. That was a bit short and sweet and to the point, wasn't it? Um, right, slimy. Let's go for our bag. Let's try and catch him, shall we? Ultra ball him. He's a 48, so I'm not holding out a huge amount of hope. But you never know. Being quiet. Waiting, waiting. Still waiting. Oh, I captured the gold duck. Whoa-hoo. Well, that was worth it, I must admit. I should have tried that right in the beginning, shouldn't I, really? Another gold duck. Oh, there's me thinking they're rare. Look at them. They're all over the bloody place. It was common as anything. Oh well. Let's have a look around this area. As I did find some interesting Pokemon around this area, so. Or ones I hadn't seen before. Put it that way. So let's see what we can find. I know if I just walked, I found that, that crocodile thingy. Polywell. No, we've already got a Polywell. A poly, Polywag, I think. Yep. Which would evolve into you anyway, so. I don't need to go and catch another one. Do I want them all? Or do I not worry about the fact they've evolved? The fact I've caught them. Well, I must admit, I haven't built myself a Pokedex yet. But from what I gather, it's about as much use as a hole in the head anyway, so that's why I haven't really bothered. Let's have a look over here. What can we find? This should be good for grass and grass Pokemon and insect Pokemon around here, shouldn't it? The jungle, I would have thought. Not pokey cows. I like a nice cider. What have we got over there? That looks like a bouncing cow, is it? Yes, it's a bouncing cow. Mm-hmm. Right, so I'm just checking I've got I couldn't remember if I had an Optifine on here or not. This is all sheep and cows over here. I'm seeing animals, but it's all sheep and cows. Oh, oh! What was that? That was a that was a one I didn't recognise. So that bell sprout. Mm. You're a grass type Pokemon, admittedly, which means mm. where was you? You've got to be over in this direction. It is bell sprout. Bell sprout. I'm sure it's a bell sprout. Where is it? Oh, you annoying git! Where are you? It's over this way somewhere. Where are you, Bell Sprouts? Bell Sprouts. It sounds like a geek saying Bell Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got you. I'm quite surprised actually the amount of them I have seen. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's another Butterfree type. I haven't got any of the moth ones, have I? Let's come over here and have a look. What we got? There's a whole bunch of them. What have we got here? 47? You're a giant one, I take it. Uh, 47... 347 is by the look of it. Uh, 34. And they're Venomoths. Hmm. I think you're a big fat one. 
What have I got left as far as them goes? Let's have a look. 74 on that. You're fighted, you're fighted, you're fighted, you're fighted, and Gold Up's got 141. And you're 48. Okay, we're going to have a crack at this. What the hell? Ah! Uh, oh. Let's have a think now. Fight, what can we do with you? You're flying. Let's try straight off with a tackle, see if we do anything to you. Oh! Ouch! That was nasty! Uh, I know that water... Uh, I'm going to check my little list. Water is weak against... Uh, weak against for water. Where are we now? <laughs> see, it's good to have a little list. Weak against electric and grass. Oh, you're not. You're flying, and you're poison flying, I think, aren't you? So you shouldn't be weak against it. Fight. Let's try... Um, we tried mud gun, didn't we? Or did we try tackle? Let's try a mud bomb. We'll just make life a bit easier for... Oh, you are nasty. Wasn't very effective. Right, Pokemon. Okay, Gold Duck. Go, Gold Duck. Right, let's see what we can do here. Right, fight. What have you got? Water Sport, Confusion, Screech, and Psych Up. Confusion would be a good one. Ouch. Alright. It's super effective. She's quite low now. Let's just, just, well, here we go. Let's try. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Pokeballs. An Ultra Ball. We've got loads of Ultra Balls. Um, is it night time at the moment? I think it is. Let's try a Dusk Ball. It's not like we've got a Dusk Ball. Supposedly a good night. I'm not going to stare and get a crick in the neck looking like that. Waiting. Still waiting. I catch the penalty. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. We're doing well. We are doing well. I must have a Pokemon aren't doing so clever, but we're doing well. There's a whole load of stuff in front of me here. Oh, this has got to be the pond, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, anything good in there? Not like I catch it if there was. I think this is all magic carp, isn't it? Magic Yeah, all magic carp. Nothing to get excited about. Swimming across here, magic up. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Stupid fish. Uh, right. Get up there. Get up, 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 up. More up, more up. Right. That I'll take it over there is. That's a good cave. That I'll take it over there is home. Let's go this way. Ooh! Ouch! That's a mistake. Parkour, zero. Doom, doom, go over there. Nothing. It's not a very nice round pool, isn't it? There's still nothing to get excited about. Let's head for the coast. Get away, duck. I hate jungle. I never know where I'm going in jungle. Uh, still no sign of geodudes or anything. Not that it makes much difference at the moment. It's either a Pokemon or out. Who? Who was that? What'd you hear? I heard something. It did sound interesting. Oh, what are you? I'm hearing something. Weeping Bell. But you're 43 and you're a plant. Oh! Uh.